I'm Abby and this is Abby Matt Reads. This is my first ever video so it's going to be nervy and awkward but please bear with me. I have loved writing and reading ever since I can remember. Books are my main passion in life so I'm really excited to start doing reviews for you guys. Um, I mainly like historical fiction and horror but I do read a wide range of genres so there should be something in here for everyone. Um, if you have read a book that you would like me to review, I'm open to all suggestions, just put it in the comments down below. So speaking of historical fiction, the first book I would like to review is Minette Welter's The Last Hours. Um, this book wasn't quite what I expected. Um, set in 1348, the plague has hit England. And among the first to die is Sir Richard Devilish, Lord of the Land, leaving behind his widow, the formerly repressed and rather brilliant Lady Anne, who is in a quandary as she needs to protect not only herself and her family, but the serfs who she's come to care about from this plague and pestilence. She takes it upon herself to invite all the villagers into her grand manor, much to the dismay of her rather spoilt and annoying obnoxious daughter Eleanor who actually may have a point as the moat is burned effectively quarantining everyone inside the roles of the people that were strictly implicated begin to break down causing um, unsettlement and bitter feelings resentment and life inside the quarantine to take the turn for the worst and it soon becomes clear that the plague and hunger is not the worst thing that these people have to fear. When I read this book, I couldn't help but split it into three thirds. The first part set up the story comfortably, developed the characters, um, gave you a yearning to know more about the, about the story. The second I found hard. I found it repetitive i it trudged it, it it broke from the first part completely and felt a bit alien but the third mill then made up for it it was exciting and thrilling and i read it all in one evening sitting the whole book itself is an intelligent look at human life during times of peril the language is intelligent and it's hooking and the relationship between Lady Anne and her daughter Eleanor is a joy to discover and watch develop. It's, it, it's very interesting. I think the fact that I had to look up a lot of words in this book is not a bad thing because I love learning new words. And I'm really looking forward to the sequel of this book and I give it a 4 out of 5. I don't normally read memoirs or autobiographies, I'm much more of a fiction girl. But I've been following the recent Time's Up movement very closely. And when I heard that Rose McGowan had released Brave, I snapped it up straight away. It is a deeply interesting story about how McGowan goes from one cult to another, born into the very scary sounding Children of God cult, uh, going to the cult of Hollywood later in life. Um, her unstable family and self-destructive behaviour gives her a very down and out persona in her youth but at this stage of the book I struggled as she seems to like to paint herself as a victim and I found it very hard to feel sorry for her but something you can't help but love is her fiery determined and strong character and for a woman to overcome being raped, it is a remarkable achievement. I'm a survivor myself and I have to say I would never overlook that achievement. It is brilliant. This is an action-packed book. It is really entertaining, very easy to read, not put downable. And I give of it 4 out of 5 stars. The last book I'd like to review today is The Night Visitor by Lucy Atkins. This is a book I found very hard to put down from the moment I picked it up. It is beautifully written. It is extremely clever. It's so layered and full of suspense. Um, Olivia has a seemingly perfect life. She's a historian 
She has a gorgeous husband, three gorgeous children. She has a very successful career that reaches its peak at the beginning of this book with her very own book that's just about to be released. The socially awkward and very interesting character of Vivian, who is Olivia's researcher, knows a secret, one that can bring Olivia's world crashing down around her. This book uses different time zones and locations to explore the really amazing relationship between the two leading ladies and delves right into it. It navigates perfectly around the twists and turns that are so thrilling in this book. Um, just when you think you know something, you don't. My favourite thing about The Night Visitor is the character of Vivian herself. She is such a complex, bitter, genius character and I love to follow in this book's journey as you learn more and more about her at each stage. You will mourn finishing this book when it is over but you will feel completely satisfied. I give this book five out of five. Well, that's all for today. Um, if you have any opinions on my reviews, maybe you've read the book yourself, put them down in the comments. I love talking about books. Um, if you could please give the video a thumbs up down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and follow me on Twitter at at Abby Mac Reads for the latest news on this channel. I'm hoping to be back in a week, so see you then.